Hello, I'm John Clothier and welcome to my workshop. In this video, we're going to be using the mould that I created in the last video. If you haven't watched that video, I urge you to go back and watch it now. I will put a link in the description below and I will try and put a link here or here or here or somewhere as well. But if you have watched it, great. You'll understand that we've got a silicon mould, which is in here, that I cast of a piece of burr. And today we're going to put some resin in it. So I've put it back in the five inch mold that I've got here and it's just to hold it in place. It just keeps it all stable. Now it's fairly thick walled. I don't think it'd be an issue, but hey, it fits and it fits perfectly. So why not use it? So that's there. So I'm gonna put that to one side for a second. Now, just to note, I haven't put any mold release in the mold because when we cast this and take it out, we're gonna mix it together with another piece of resin. If there was any mold release in it, they two may not stick. Now, I'm conscious that when I made the mold, I put some mold release on the wood. So that may be still in there. Now, I have given it a bit of a wipe out with some alcohol, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm gonna be using the Illuminite Clear Slow for this. Now, I've got a little bit left over in these two bottles here. Um, it, it is quite old. I have had this resin maybe seven or eight months, and it's only meant to be usable for three. So. I don't know if it's even gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens. So I've got a pot, I've got my weighing scales. Switch on and reset to zero. And I'll start with just seeing how much of this stuff I've got. Cause I'm guessing I'm gonna want about half a litre. I'm not sure what that weighs out to, but we'll see. Okay, well that's answered my question. I can't even get the lid off of it. So chuck that away. So one with the part A first. So I don't know how much I'm going to need. So um, I'm going to err on the side of caution. I'm going for 250 milliliters. Don't worry. I am going to do this by weight. I'm just using this as a rough guide so that I know how much volume this is as well. Just over 250 has taken me to 244. So to make my mass easy, just going to round that up to 250. And because I'm feeling brave, I'm going to put the other 250 straight on top. All right, so put that to one side and get mixing. Right, that looks pretty well mixed to me. So I'm just going to take some of the blue, Illuminite Ocean Blue. Um, let's get a little stick for that. I'm not going to put a lot in. In fact, I'm just going to rub a little bit on the end of the stick. Just give that a little mix in. I want it quite translucent still. I don't want to make it a thick, deep, dark colour. I'm just going to take a little bit of the Caster's Choice Sky Blue powder. And again, just erring on the side of caution, not putting too much in to start with. Put a little bit more in. Again, I don't want to make it really thick with colour. Um, I'm just trying to give a little bit of sparkle to it, really. Okay, so that's the resin mixed up. Got my mould ready, and let's pour it in. Right, now let's get that in the pressure pot. Okay, so it's the next day and I've been a little bit impatient and I've already taken it out of the mold. Um, but I think it looks really good. I'm really pleased with that. Um, I'm not sure I like the color, but this was very much a case of making the mold and testing the concept before we get onto more imaginative things in the future. So what am I gonna do with this now? Well, the obvious thing, with that one to one side, is to get the original four inch mold. And now this just drops inside. Now all I need to do is to put some more resin over the top. So let's get some mixed up. Now I'm gonna go with just clear, just so that when we actually finally make a sphere out of this, 
um, we will be able to see the blue and the shape for all its uh, in all its goodness. Um, so I'll get that mixed up, get it poured in here, and we'll get that back in the pressure pot until tomorrow. Right, so that's 270 um, of part B. Now I need to do 270 of part A. Okay, so let's give it a good mix. Okay, so that's the resin all mixed up. Now I'm gonna do is just pour it on top of the blue resin that's in the mold. I've got about half of it in there. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a move around with the stick, just to make sure that any of the big air bubbles that might be in there are released. In case there's any trapped air underneath it or something. All right, then finish topping it up. So again, it was about 500, maybe a little bit more milliliters of resin for the top half. So I know I need about a litre for this mould. And so I'm, it looks like I'm about 50-50 between the, the first part from the silicon mould that I made and the top up, um, which would be useful to know for the future. But anyway, let's get this in the pressure pot. Okay, and let's leave that until tomorrow. So I'm over at the lathe now, and as you can see, I've taken the resin casting out of the mold. I've glued a piece of plywood to it, and it's mounted on a screw thread. So now I'm gonna turn a sphere from it. I didn't think you'd be that interested in seeing me take it out of the mold, so I've skipped to this stage. Now, obviously this video is really all about the casting and not about the turning. So now I'm gonna turn this into a sphere, do all the sanding, the polishing and everything, and we'll do that on time lapse, and I'll come back and talk to you about it at the end. And here is the finished sphere. So my observations, well the first thing is there's absolutely no transition between the blue resin and the clear resin. So there's no way that you could see that they were cast in two pieces, which is brilliant. I think there's too much blue in this. Um, there's too much of the burr bit. It comes right up to here. And there's only a small portion at the top, which is clear. Um, but I think a little bit of experimenting with maybe not pouring quite so much on the blue and pouring a bit more on the clear will fix that. Um, I think because of that, it's just a little bit mm, not great, basically. Um, I'll bring it in a little bit closer, and hopefully you'll be able to see. I'm trying to get it so that you can see. Oh, there you go. There you can see the clear at the top. And, you know, it's it's kind of worked pretty well. Um, I'm just not really a fan of the colour. So, but never mind. Um, the point is, this is this was an exercise, this was a test, this was an experiment. It worked. So I'm now going to go and create another one, and you'll see that in a future video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.